Hi, welcome back to Recycle Creations. Today we'll be building this small coffee table in the rustic style. As always, please know, understand, and follow all the safety instructions that come with your equipment. And don't do something just because a guy on the internet did it. This little project will also serve as my 2017 Palette Upcycle Challenge project. I started out by hunting for pallets in one of my favorite spots and I found a few really good ones. I've learned to be really picky about which pallets I bring home, which ones will disassemble properly, and also which ones have desirable hardwoods. I started out by breaking down the pallets and then processing the wood that they yielded into usable pieces. Over at the table saw, I jointed one edge of each of the boards. Then I ran each one through the table saw again to create a parallel edge. I picked out some nice wide pieces for the top and got busy gluing up a blank that will become the tabletop. After the glue dried, I used my Stanley number 5 to plane the boards flat. Using some 40 grit, I sanded both sides of the top. 40 grit is pretty aggressive for a woodworking project, but when the pallet wood is still pretty rough as it is here, it makes quick work out of bringing it down somewhat consistent. With my True Track saw system, I squared up each end of the table. Next, to address that big crack in the top, I thought I would install a couple of Dutchman repairs. This process involves following a router template and using a template inlay bit and collar set to make the cuts. Here's the location of the first Dutchman cutout. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and the corners squared up with a chisel. Once I had the Dutchman location set, I turned my attention to cutting out the Dutchman themselves from a scrap block. For the second half of that operation, you take the little collar off of the inlay set and that allows you to cut around the outside so that the Dutchman fits exactly in the hole that you made earlier. Here I'm just using a chisel to clean up the corners and bottom of the Dutchman locations. Here I'm fine tuning each Dutchman to fit in each one of their respective locations. I mixed up some two-part epoxy and filled in all the cracks, nail holes, etc. Then I sanded everything flush. I used a rabbiting bit in my router to create a tenon on each end of the table on top and bottom for a breadboard end. Thank you. 
Using a couple of offcuts, I made the breadboards, cutting a mortise to receive the tenon. Here I'm just tweaking the fit of the tenon in the mortise to make sure that I have a good straight line. For a nice springboard fit, I like to trim the center of the tenon and the center of the breadboard end back slightly so that it is a tighter fit than the ends. This will always ensure that the line separating the two parts of the table is tight. So here I'm laying out the location for the pins that will hold the breadboard on. I didn't get good footage of me doing it, but it's important to note that you need to elongate the outer two holes so that the top has room to move. I'm actually using some kitchen bamboo skewers for the wooden pins for this project. A quick full knife trim and sanding left the pins even with the surface. Used a circular saw to trim both breadboards to length. Here I'm just applying some walnut stained Danish oil. Using a paper towel, I dried up the excess Danish oil and highlighted some distressed areas with some flat black paint. While the finish on the top was drying, I decided it was time to start on the base of the table. I squared up four leg blanks using my joiner my planer and my table saw. Then using the chop box I trimmed them each to length. Using the shop made tapering jig I gave each leg a slight taper. Since I'm painting the base of this table, I wasn't too worried about the wood choice for the base. A while back, I saw Jimmy Duresta build a table utilizing some inexpensive pine and a layered technique. I remember thinking at the time that it would work really well with pallet wood construction.
So I got at the task of cutting out all the pieces needed to make the layered table base. Jimmy does a much better job than I ever could explaining how it works, so in the description of the video I'll put a link to his video. I started out with a simple box that becomes the rails of the table. That small diagonal brace is just there to keep things square while the glue dries. I made this little piece to represent each leg so that I could mark what needed to be cut away from the box. And once again I tacked on some diagonal bracing just to keep things together while I did the cuts. I just used my little pull saw and a square to guide the cut and it worked out pretty well. Then I cut out all the internal layers. And finally glue and clamped the entire thing together. I used a ratchet strap to hold all four legs in place so that I could drill the pilot holes and attach the legs with long lag screws. Here's a little bit better view of that operation. I used my plate joiner to cut some slots for the tabletop clips. I coated the base with a light gray paint. Utilizing some little fender washers and some little scrap offcuts, I fashioned some table top clips. Here's just kind of a fly around and some beauty shots. I intend on working on the finish on the top just a little bit more. It doesn't suit me yet, but I wanted to get this video out so it could be included in the palette challenge playlist.
If you enjoyed this project, please click like and subscribe and join me back here. I have new content several times each month.